Hi guys, this video is from Boxing Day this year. Uh, every Christmas I try and climb the same mountain because I've never actually made it to a summit just yet for various reasons. So third time's a charm. And last year I climbed it with uh, my mate Rapesh, who unfortunately is back in Nepal at the moment uh, due to COVID. And I'll link that video up in the top corner. Can't remember which corner it will be, but it'll be one of the corners. And yeah, so this mountain is called Mount Alexander. It's one of the taller local ones, just shy of 2,000 meters high. I think it's sitting around the 1995 meter mark, but I'll, uh, I'll double check that. And yeah, this is a video of how, how that trip up Boxing Day went. Hi guys, well it's Boxing Day again and we're here in the same car park as we were last last year uh, to Mount Alexander, that's actually Mount Tikinga but um, yeah we'll be going up Mount Alexander again and this mountain has clouded me off it twice already so I'm hoping that third time is a charm and we'll get to some and get some awesome views. I'm doing it slightly differently now, firstly there's no Rapesh, Rapesh is unfortunately um, in Nepal, he's he wasn't able to come back into New Zealand with the COVID going on at this moment. So um, yeah, it's just me this weekend. Well, these two days, and instead of staying at the hut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hike past the hut and up to a plateau, up to a ridge line, and camp there for the night. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll make the the ascent, and it should be no cloud in the sky. Hopefully tomorrow there's a little bit of cloud in the sky if you can just about see that so the summit of a mountain driving in is still still clouded in but hopefully by tomorrow it'll be clear skies and we should be good we're about an hour and a bit in and compared to last year the track is so much rougher there's a lot, it's a lot more overgrown and there's a few trees lying around i've just got up to a section now which um which well it's been completely washed away what we'll do is we'll try and scout up a wee bit, see if we can get a path going up and over and uh, push on. But there's been a huge amount of uh, of earth move and earth slip. But yeah, it's, uh, it's muggy as well. Not much breeze, but uh, the temperature's picking up. So, cool. Here's another example of a, a land slip taking a sign. The sign's just just coming there, I think there used to be a post. But you can see it just there. So, uh, yeah, there's been a fair few changes to this track. I think if I didn't know where I was going and I hadn't done it before, I'd be really struggling to, um, to be following it. But so far, we're getting there. Well, we made it to Camp Creek Hut. Uh, this is the same one which we stayed at last year. And it's, um, well, I think we got here about 20 past one and we set off at 10 past 11. So that's only two hours, 10 minutes, which is pretty good going really. I think it's gotta be another two or three hours, probably three hours to actually get up to the, up to the terrace. And yeah, that's where I'm planning on making camp tonight. I've just had lunch and, well, I think I showed you the hut in the previous video, uh, but no, it sleeps, sleeps six in um, three, three bunks there. It's got a wee little table area where I've had my, had my lunch and, um, and where I'm, me and uh, Pesh's uh, signatures are still in my book from last year, which is quite nice to see. We've got a wee little cooking area and of course, uh, a stove as well so um yeah it's a really nice little little cozy hut and um yeah we'll crack on and push push on up so we've just broken the bush line that's tikinga in the background uh i don't know if you can see but over yonder is moana where's me be about there and that's all sunny but as you see the surrounding mountains are all um 
or rather cloudy at the moment and there's a wee bit of cloud over the top and a wee bit of drizzle coming in but um, yeah I'm aiming for up there and I think looking at it it's probably oh probably another 250 300 meters vertical to go uh, and yeah this is a this is a steepest bit so it's gonna get uh, gonna get hard but no it's been a, been a pretty good climb it's a lot cooler up here um, I think for every thousand meters you go up you drop six degrees centigrade so we're probably about close to the thousand meter mark probably at a thousand meter mark to be honest with you um, now so it's six degrees cooler now than it was at the car park and it certainly feels it but it is a nice nice temperature to actually walk in and not have the sun beating down on you so yeah it's looking good so now it starts a bloody sleeting sort of possibly uh window of summer i've got bloody sleet coming down oh it's uh every weather today the clouds are still still setting in i hope that's a hope that's not going to be here tomorrow the forecast said it was going to be clear tomorrow so fingers crossed but uh yeah not far to go now but uh yeah bloody sleet Tell you what this bloody mountain so it's um it's <laughs> as you can probably see it's properly snowing now uh and if you see behind me there we're under the shelter of a big big boulder here but um yeah the wind's absolutely ripping through yeah so i've got another call to make so do i stay here for the night and then try and push on or do I walk out I think realistically I don't have uh, the gear for for the night particularly if it's snowing and if the snow settles it's getting heavier yeah I'm really not not set up for <laughs> for uh, snow snow camping in the middle of in the middle of summer so what I think we'll do We'll pack up and we'll walk out. This bloody mountain. Shit. So it's four o'clock now and I'm going to head down, down the mountain again. Oh my God. So it's just under five hours to come up. Hopefully we'll get that back down in around four. So we should be at the car park for maybe eight. <laughs> character building. That's what um, that's what all this is. Character building. Well, that was a, a slippery descent. It's it's turning into rain again now. We've gone from sleet up in the mountains. It's beginning to settle. I can see the snow still on the floor there. So, oh, what a day! What a day! I think the most the most annoying thing is looking out at the valley now, and it's got lovely blue skies and sun pushing down on it. And here, here it's rainy and snowy. Yeah, one day, four seasons. Fun times. Well, it's still showering now, but um, yeah, we're probably about 45 minutes from the car park. 
But what I'll, I wanted to quickly show you was uh, the nettles we have, a, have over here. They're a lot more, far more gnarly than the um, European nettles and they really pack a, a big sting. So yeah, if you're out in the bush, you've got to keep an eye out for them. And unfortunately this part of the track's a wee bit overgrown with them. So yeah, they sting a lot harder than the European ones. Nearly out. This is the last river crossing. The water's lovely and clear though. Well, thanks for watching guys. Um, I might get asked a few questions why I didn't stay in the hut. I didn't stay in the hut this time just because I was slightly over it. I wasn't particularly pleased with the situation so I just continued walking out. I certainly could have stayed in the hut and tried to make the ascent the next day but we're fortunate, fortunately with hindsight I did. Uh, we can actually see the mountain from the house and the following day it was still clouded in up there so it was the right call to make. Next time I think I'm just going to blitz it all and just do it in a single day all up all back down one day day pack yeah just choose the right day and just go for it that's my plan there next time I I go for that bad boy but uh, no thank you very much for watching cheers